Hey everyone, welcome to a channel that helps position you in your search for your best silver gray white wig or hair. I'm Angela and this is Silver Linings. Here are this week's Magnificent Seven, all in the silver gray white color family. Let's go! Well, starting out in the series, we have a very affordable wig from Polly Young. Now, if you haven't tried Polly Young, it took me a long time before I actually tried Polly Young, but this one is called Sheer Obsession. Hand tied. Look at the price, everyone. Clearance marked from $422 down to between $69, between $70 and $80. She comes in white. I did not see any other colors, but if you like white, if you like the white wigs, you might want to reach out for this one. Uh, hurry, as they say, limited quantities are available, and she is hand tied. She has that whisper light fiber. I did a review on a whisper light fiber. I believe that one was Chase, and I love the fibers in that wig. So don't wait on this one. If you love white hair, I would reach out, and you could see uh, the back view here hugs tight to the neck, has some good height up on the top. Our second wig is from Beltress, one of my favorite brands. They do beautiful, beautiful job, especially on lace fronts. And this is a partial monofilament wig, which means she's going to have a little space up at the top where you'll be able to part her and see right into the scalp. Love any kind of a monofilament wig. And you can see here that she is available in Roca Margarita, one of my absolute favorite colors. I reviewed Mocha, Roca Margarita in my video on Shakerado and also, what was the name of that little wig that I love? Um, Amaretto, also by Beltress. She also comes in chrome and the Coconut Silver Blonde. Now, Coconut Silver Blonde is going to have a little bit of a platinum color to her, a little bit more yellow. So if you don't want any yellow or any brown, your best choices would be with Roca Margarita and the Chrome. The Roca Margarita is extremely, extremely beautiful on all silver gray hair wig types. Okay. Next, next up, we have a much-loved wig, very popular wig called Ignite. And she is about chin length, as you can see there. She's available in lots and lots of colors. She is from Jean Renault. I've talked about this wig before. She's available in the Winter Sun. If you see my mouse here over on the right, wiggling, she's available in the Winter Sun. And let's see what else might be available for gray hair. I'm going to come over here and click on this gray right there. She's available in Martini, a beautiful color for people who like the sandy uh, color gray and also Milkshake. I have not seen Milkshake um, to hold it in my hand, but she's got that color number 38. And you can get an idea of uh, color number 38 if you give a close-up look here. So again, lots of brown in color number 38 milkshake. Okay, this wig has heat-defiant uh, synthetic fibers, so you can heat her up to 350 degrees, uh, which would allow you to blow dry it, use a flat iron. Just remember, don't go over 350 degrees. And it has a smart lace cap which creates a beautiful natural hairline. Next up is a, a really fun wig. Now this, again, is going to be a little bit lower than chin length. This is Anastasia. She's a synthetic. She is by Renee of Paris. I actually just sold my, my uh, own Anastasia wig. I'm going to grab her for you now because she's just about ready to go in the mail. So here she is. Let me... I only reviewed her. I never wore her. I just sold her this past week. Brand new, never worn, only worn for review. Look at this beautiful color. They call it a pastel blue. And really, really fun, fun style. I'll put the link below where I reviewed Anastasia. Look at those colors. 
She's not blue like, you know, that, that vibrant, vibrant blue. She's got more white than blue, more gray uh, than white. But just a really fun wig, really, really fun style. Anastasia, and she is available in some other colors, as you can see here. Uh, she's in avail she's available in, well, I would, she's not available in any of the quote, quote, gray colors other than smoky gray. Now, Vogue wig doesn't have her in stock right now in smoky gray, but look around. I think you, you might be able to find, find Anastasia in the smoky gray, um, or at the very late, at the very least, if you're at the Vogue wig store, ask them if they can get smoky gray for you. So I went over to reneeofparis.com and we know Renee of Paris is is uh from the Adirons Hair Goods people and I just typed in smoky gray. You see up here? I typed in smoky gray and then uh I know that all of these wigs come in smoky gray and so I clicked on the Nico and then that took me to the next page. Scroll down. It's a sweet little wig too. And uh, scroll down, scroll, scroll, and then you can see here is the smoky gray. So she comes in the silver stone, which is one of my favorite colors. She comes in the smoky gray. You can see it's got a lot of black, got a lot of gray, very little white. And then she's and then she comes in the pastel blue. So those are the gray colors for um, this particular wig, which is again Anastasia. On in 10 by Raquel Welch. She's a bob with bangs. Very low density wig. Very believable. Very, very popular. She has a wonderful price point. $165 for a quality wig, quality company. She comes in a few different shades for Grace. She comes in Iced Granita, Sugar and Charcoal, and silver. Now, I have reviewed the Ice Granita before. I will put a link below there for you so you can see that color on my head. And I thought I saw one more here. Ice Granita, Sugar and Charcoal, Silver. Is that all of our... Well, yes, they have Silver and Smoke. Silver and Smoke. Again, I haven't seen that one in my hand, but I have seen the Ice Granita. They're all, all beautiful, beautiful colors. So next up we have Jones by Aesthetica. Now Aesthetica makes a really beautiful wig also. And if you if your head tends to be on the large side, Aesthetica wigs fit me absolutely the best and are the most comfortable for my size head. Now we're not seeing any grays per se, but I have um, an Aesthetica wig in this lilac haze color right here. And honestly, it's just a beautiful, beautiful shade. Um, you're not going to be purple, but you're not going to be gray. You're going to be a, co a combination of purple and gray. I reviewed Aesthetica's um, Lilac Haze in from the Orchid collection. I'll drop that link for you below so that you can see it. It's a long wig. This one, as you can see, is a choppy kind of a of a collar length wig. Very, very popular. She does come, you see this Silver Sun. I want to talk with you a little bit about Silver Sun because I did quite a bit of research on Silver Sun. I Again, I have not ever had Silver Sun in my hand, but I have seen her on many, many reviewers. Taz does her quite a bit and uh, Eileen over at Crazy Wig Lady. Silver Sun has a platinum-y, yellowish tint to her, but a lot of times when you're when you're looking at her on your monitor... She may present as more of a white or an icy white, and she is not. She truly has the platinum warm tones to her. Now, I am seeing this icy shadow here, this particular one. Again, uh, she's going to be have more in common with Silver Sun than she is going to have with the white and the silver gray. So just be a little bit careful because... It's really hard to tell in the monitor if it's truly silver gray white or if it's got yellow or brown. Last but not least, we have Christine by Envy. Love Envy wigs. A beautiful, kind of a Farrah Fawcett looking hairdo if you if you like that. I personally love all the layers that, that are shown here. She has a 
partial monofilament top, which means you're going to have a piece uh, probably on the left side, an inch or so wide, where you can decide where you want to part her. So it's going to look very realistic on the scalp area. And those bangs are going to help hide that uh, the hairline. So I would think very easy to put on. I have not seen her in person. I have seen some wig reviewers cover this wig. Available in three beautiful shades, medium gray, light gray, which is really like a white. Again, I will put a couple of um, links below where you can see um, times when I have reviewed Envy an Envy wig in white um, and also available in the dark gray. So beautiful long wig, price point about $250 or so. I wanted to show you this page that I have created that corresponds to the Magnificent 7 series this week. Uh, if you scroll down, you can see that these are all, at a glance, the wigs that I've talked about in this week's episode. So head on over to someone with gray hair, the Magnus, the Mag, head on over to someone with gray hair, the Magnificent Seven, Gray Wig Find series, and you'll see this page, and this page will grow, and this series will grow as we move forward in time. Okay, at this point I just wanted to take a few uh, of my viewer questions and comments and address them here. Uh, the first one is going to be from NMAC, M-A-K, and NMAC. <laughs> she wanted to know why I like the shampoo that I talked about in my birthday video, uh, the video before this one. And the shampoo that I was referring to is called Design Silvers, and it's one of those purple shampoos. Now, so I've, top, I've hopped over to my Amazon store now, um, and I've le I'm leaving a link for you below. But the Design line is a proprietary line of um, supercuts. And sometimes I can get the the design line products from Amazon. Sometimes I can't. Um, so, you know, just a little bit of a disclaimer there. But the reason I like design line, well, I have to tell you a little story. So years ago, I, um, I had gone over to Supercuts. I didn't want to pay a lot. I just needed like an inch taken off my, my hair. So I went in there and, I mean, it was so long ago. I think the cut was like $12.00. And um, as I was leaving, the the, um, the hairstylist said, "Have you ever tried any of our of our products?" And I said, "No." And she recommended this Design Line shampoo and conditioner. And I asked her how much it was, and uh, she told me. And I said, "No, I'm not going to pay whatever the price was for. That's too expensive." And but then she said, "But you're spending a lot of money on your hair." And before that, I really was getting very expensive. Uh, cuts and having highlights and low lights and all that. She said, you're spending all that money. Why don't you use a quality product? Well, that made sense to me. Okay. So she recommended these this design line, super silver, um, design line, super silver shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo was purple, and I had used purple shampoos before. And, uh, they were okay, um, but I found that what was happening is they were starting to turn my hair silver or like a steely gray, and I didn't want that. So I started to use the design line, and oh, and by the way, she said, if you don't like it, we'll refund all of your money, no questions asked. That's how much she, she uh, believed in it. So the next time I washed my hair, I used it, and I absolutely loved it. Now, the, the conditioner is blue. So you've got the purple conditioner and you've got the blue, no, you've got the purple shampoo and the blue conditioner. I'm, and I said, blue conditioner? Is it going to turn my hair blue? She said, I promise you it's not. Okay. I can't even believe I did it without doing a test, a test part of my hair first because, you know, white hair, gray hair, it's very, very porous and it can take color like that, right? So um, I used the blue conditioner. I'm telling you, the sparkle on my hair when I stepped out into the sun, I couldn't believe it. It was just sparkling. And it wasn't a fake kind of a sparkle. It just looked 
healthy and vibrant and glossy. And so I have never looked back. Every once in a while, I will use the BioLage. I think that's in my store somewhere. Um, these are all my favorite products. I use the BioLage. I probably use the BioLage, oh, I don't know, once a month. Maybe it's not in my store. Oh, it's not. I'll have to pop it in there. But I use the BioLage probably once a month, and but I mostly use the Design Silvers. And I always use the uh, Design Silvers conditioner. I also like the, um, oh, here's the BioLage right here. I, I blew right past it. I also like the BioLage. It's a kind of a thick cream, the Hydra Source Conditioning Balm. So I know that this is a lot, but I think what happens is you're, it's better if you don't use the same product all the time, all the time, all the time. Switch them up. And when my hair was really damaged, I mean really damaged, if you follow me from that awful balayage treatment I had going wrong, where I had all these black streaks in my hair, it was terrible. I went to a new hairdresser, nice lady, but showed her some pictures, and this is what I'm left with. I mean, it looks like I'm bald, but I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm really not. There's hair there. It's just, it's terrible. It's just terrible. And there's nothing that I can do unless anybody knows anything that I can do. I think, except just to let it grow out and wear my wigs and hair pieces and do the best that I can. Um, I used the Olaplex, and I, I used the whole bottle. I used it like once a week for four weeks and it it really did restore my hair you asked me why i like that shampoo and that's a very long answer as to why i like that shampoo there's just so many products on the market it's hard to know what is the best one unfortunately we we have to buy them but a lot of them we can take back if we don't like them and thankfully you know we we can do that okay so the question was was uh, on this product that i was showing um, True Hair Color and Lift, and what Pam wanted to know was, I have products, I have trouble getting products into the brush. You see the brush there, and I've even checked to make sure that the tube is open by sticking a toothpick in it. Please advise, maybe I'm just being dense. Well, <laughs> okay, remember I said that this video was over a year ago, showing you how to open it. Be careful when you open it so it doesn't all spill out. But now what I do is I just open the bottom part and again make sure you're you're not over a table. Make sure it's um, make sure it's facing the ceiling. And I just take one of my cosmetic brushes and I dip it in and then I tap it wherever I want it on my scalp. But Pam I totally no, you're not dense. Uh <laughs> you're doing it the right way they really just need to redesign that brush but the product is fantastic and it really does a great job of covering it so I hope that helps okay so the next question comes from TDJ TD you were uh, you were wondering about the new Godiva color that's out smoky frost I have not reviewed that wig um, I don't review every single wig that comes out in the world because, as I as I joke, I'm not Rockefeller. I'm kind of like you. I, I buy a wig when I can afford it, save a little bit of money, and then buy it and then review it. And then sometimes I sell it. However, um, however, Coco from Coco's Hair Solutions has reviewed Smoky Frost from Godiva along with a couple of others, Freedom Taylor and the Taylor Top. So... Head over to Coco's channel. If you haven't seen her yet, you will absolutely love her. And then you'll be able to see and get your answer to your questions. Thanks so much for asking. Okay, the next question is from Jay, um, who wanted to know a, a color comparison on um, Renee of Paris's Ensley. Uh, color comparison between Silver Frost and how it compares to Moonstone. Isn't that the question of the ages when you have two that look kind of similar? Well, I did review Ensley a while back. Um, and 
I got her in the color Moonstone, as your question was. So on the monitor, she looks kind of yellow, doesn't she? I can tell you that she does not have yellow in her. Here she is in my hand. There's the Moonstone. And I don't know whether you can see the difference um, on the left side of the screen between the review that I did on the right side of the screen. So this is a really beautiful beautiful color. If you're looking for more, if you're concerned about yellow, there's no yellow in this wig, in the Moonstone. Now, the Silver Frost, let me, now let me come out of this screen and then come over to the Renee of Paris site where you see the Moonstone. And again, here she is in person does look more realistic with the swatch that you see right here um, as compared to the Silver Frost. I can tell you that the Silver Frost to my eye looks like it has more brown and maybe a little bit of yellow. Unfortunately we don't have color codes that go along with these swatches. Not all of the, all of the brands do them. So I, I guess I'd have to know what is it that you're looking for. Do you not want it to be uh, yellow or platinum? Do you want it to be more like a silver, white, gray? If you do, then I would go with the Moonstone. I hope that helps. It's, a very, it's very hard when you can't see it in your hand and monitors don't always tell the truth, so to speak. They don't present. Everybody's monitor is different. It might be perfect on mine, but then when you're looking at, on your, looking at it on your monitor, it might be something totally different. Okay, so I hope that helps. Thanks so much for your questions. Uh, I have so many questions. I could spend eight hours just sitting here answering questions, and I really do try to, to give a certain amount of attention every week to them, but I read every single comment. It's easier to answer comments when they first come in. When comments come in on old videos, sometimes you know, they just get lost in in the shuffle so I try at least once every two weeks to go back into the back into the back end so to speak the administrative panel because the older comments oftentimes won't even show up um, to the public facing view I, I alone can see them so hope that helps okay and then as always just a reminder I do sell my gently used Gray, silver gray white wigs and I do mean gently many of these have only been used for a review all the directions are at this page here if uh, you hit another page all you have to do is come over here and click on shop and they're all listed here for you below every once in a while you find an inspirational story that touches your heart in a very special way a rose for mother a man stopped at a flower shop to order some flowers to be wired to his mother, who lived 200 miles away. As he got out of his car, he noticed a young girl sitting on the curb. She was sobbing. He asked her what was wrong, and she replied, I wanted to buy a red rose for my mother but I only have 75 cents and a rose costs two dollars. The man smiled and said, Come on in with me, I'll buy you a rose. He bought the little girl her rose and ordered his own mother's flowers. As they were leaving, he offered the little girl a ride home and she said, Yes, please, you can take me to my mother. She directed him to a cemetery where she placed the rose on a freshly dug grave. The man returned to the flower shop, canceled the wire order, picked up a bouquet, and drove the 200 miles to his mother's house. Life is short. Spend as much time as you can loving and caring for people who love you. Enjoy each moment with them before it's too late. There's nothing more important than family. I have a question for you this week. I hope you'll answer it in the comments below. I would love to know what is your best tip 
we're aging and tell us why. I have a sneak preview for you. I have a topper coming in shortly from Uniwigs. They wanted me to review this topper for them. Um, and this is the color. Look at this gorgeous salt and pepper color. I don't know a lot about it yet. I think it's going to be the straight one. It may be the wavy one. Um, there, there are two different kinds. One is wavy and one is straight. And um, again, I think the, the one that I've chosen is the straight one. should be here hopefully soon. And um, look forward to reviewing that for you. I know that finding quality silver gray and white wigs, hair pieces, and toppers can be extremely challenging. So I've created a playlist for you. You can see it above and you can also see it in the show notes below. And I want to thank you for spending some of your day, evening, or weekend with me. Always remember to look for the silver linings. They're still there. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>